the allegations are totally false and unfounded. The committee wishes to emphasize that all interactions with Binance were formal, open, and transparent. The committee never met with any Binance team outside the National Assembly, nor did the committee delegate any individual or entity to meet with Binance team on its behalf for any purpose. It should also be noted that the committee formally communicated with Federal Inland Revenue Services, FIRS, I have the reply of FIRS here, to ascertain the tax liabilities of Binance. No amount in figures was conveyed to the committee as per the extant tax default by Binance. The FIRS confirmed that Binance is not registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission of uh, this country. Binance does not have any office, no desk, no employee of Binance from this country and they are operating from this country and extorting and defrauding Nigerians. Mm -hmm. What it means is that at the initial, Binance already had a fraudulent mission in Nigeria. Although Binance has refused, neglected, and or failed to appear before the public hearing scheduled by the committee, the committee has proceeded with its investigation, which have so far revealed prima facie incidents of unlawful infractions by Binance, amongst which are, one, tax ev evasion having operated illegally in Nigeria, generating billions of dollars in profit with zero tax remittance. Two, providing a platform for money laundering activities and illegal transfer of funds to foreign shores. Three, providing a platform for terrorism financing, enabling terrorists and enemies of the Nigerian state receive ransom without trace, thus facilitating purchase of sophisticated arms and weapons. Adversely manipulating the Nigerian forest space, which led to sharp spike in the price of foreign currencies against the Naira. Operating outside the regulations of Security and Exchange Commission. Conclusion. The sophisticated criminality of Binance is clearly demonstrated by its actions in organizing and carrying out the escape from the lawful custody of the Office of the National Security Advisor and the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission on the 23rd day of December 2024 of his employee, Mr. Nadim Anjawala, using forged Kenyan passport, while his genuine British passport is still in the custody of the authorities. It is important to emphasize that the Nigerian security and regulating agencies, such as ONSA, EFCC, NFIU, SEC, CBN, it is we are already investigating the alleged criminal activities of Binance, independent of the petition before the committee. Clearly, the criminal activities of Binance in Nigeria had gained notoriety. Indeed, the criminal activities of Binance is not just a Nigerian issue, but a global problem. It should, be, it should interest Nigerians to know that on the 30th day of April 2024, the founder of Binance, Mr. Chang Pen Ho, was sentenced to four months in prison, down from three years demanded by prosecutors for money laundering, unlicensed money transmitting, and violation of scatol in the United States. Richard Jones, the presiding judge, at the sentence hearing said, so put balance, growth, and profit over compliance with United States laws and regulations. This is exactly what they have done in Nigeria. They have only put their own growth well and above the concerns and the economic conditions of Nigeria. They don't even care. They make billions of dollars from this country, even in the private pre-hearing meeting 
they accepted before our representation they are that uh, they are guilty of all the allegations leveled against them. I wouldn't talk very much about that. They would have their day in court. Uh, but I would like to encourage the media. It is not enough uh, for anyone to come subsequently and apologize about misrepresenting facts uh, or you know, spreading disinformation. I think that you owe it a duty to Nigerians uh, to accurately report on this matter. If somebody is before the courts and is clutching for straws because they know that they are drowning, and then they come out to, to accuse the, a whole institution of government because they want to distract from what it is that they've done, I think that we consider that very grave. Uh, and just like my colleague said, we are here in solidarity with uh, the House Committee on Financial Crimes to state that uh, we are simply interested in doing our work as Nigerians.